Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. Today I want to talk about please when you date, please don't date this type of woman, this type of woman. So the reason I did this video is, uh, you know, sometimes I think all of us uh, do this and we've done this. So there's going to be... Uh, Actually, there's, uh, I don't know, 15 things. Number one thing is, you want to find out, is this is this person happy? Uh, and the same thing goes to man. So if you want to date a woman or a man, please look for these. Uh, don't date these people if they're happy. If they're unhappy, if they're a happy person, uh, it's under, if it's different, if they're quiet, there's a difference between being quiet and happy, right? Just because they're quiet don't mean they're not happy. Uh, and you know as well as I do, uh, don't date if she's impolite. Uh, being cruel to others, that type of personality. Sometimes people uh, do things for a reason. <clears throat> They'll get with someone that's uh, maybe, you know, she's fine. Everything's fine. Or he's fine for a few months and then everything. You find out that that person's impolite. Mean to others. Uh, hmm. Don't marry someone because it's the last one standing, male or female. Because, you know, a lot of times uh, you you date someone or you're with someone and say, so, well, I'll just go ahead and this relationship does not work and you find someone else and you say, well, okay, uh, that particular man or woman uh, is the last one standing. So uh, be careful of that. And that happens quite a bit. That happens quite a bit. Not all relationships work out well and they end up dating the the sister or the brother or someone like that. So just be aware of that. Uh, and that happens a lot also. Uh, a lot of times uh, you might find one that is uh, you, really, how do you find out someone, should you really uh, be in depth and finding someone past? And sometimes you kind of need to ask the right questions. Uh, how was your relationships in the past? Are you, have you dated uh, married people before? Uh, miss, Mr. or Miss Homewrecker. It's Mr. or Miss Homewrecker. Uh, if you get with someone, maybe she or he was married before, and maybe they weren't married but dated married men or dated married women. So you have to be careful. Uh, she, she or he may have been gorgeous or handsome inside and out, and you ended up dating that person, but come to find out, they also dated married people. Uh, sometimes you have to look at that. And what I mean by that is, it's just because they dated someone does not make them bad. Uh, but if they've uh, ruined a relationship over it, maybe you need to take a look at that. Male or female, it happens all the time. And like I said earlier, number six I have on the list is impolite, incapable of apologizing. If that person, male or female, does not apologize to you for it's, to me, that's, that's, uh, it's, it's, it's a good character strength. Some people see it a sign of weakness if they apologize. Some people see that a sign of weakness, and you know as well as I do. Sometimes you have to be uh, humble. Sometimes you have to say, you know what, I was wrong in doing that. Sometimes you have to apologize if you're right or wrong. It takes a certain person to be able to do that. But then again, too, are you, do you want to be right? Or do you want to be happy? That's a lot of times you have to ask yourself that question. Do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? A lot of people in relationships, male and female, say, oh, I want to be happy. Well, sometimes you have to apologize for something you really really may not have done or you really uh, have done, did not do. Uh, it's, it's something that you really have to take a look at. Uh, and like I said, some people see it as a sign of weakness if you apologize, and it's not. Sometimes the best characteristic of a person. Uh, if you do apologize or do have it, make sure it's real, not, not a fake apology. Sometimes people will apologize and it's not, not real. It's not really coming from the heart. So you have to really make that decision. In, yeah, something here is inconsistent love. In, inconsistent love. What does this inconsistent love mean? That means they, he or she loves you today, tomorrow, 
they're kind of like uh, iffy. You don't feel the love. The next day you feel love. Uh, you go a week and not feel any love. What do I mean by that? Love is many different things. It's like that big piece of pie I always say. It's a piece of that pile. It's affection. It's happiness. It's showing touch. It's just showing good communication. It's showing that, you know, uh, talking. There's a lot of things to it. And so, if that person is unhappy and sad and unhappy and sad, maybe we need to take a look at it and question. Ask. The main thing is ask. This person could be sick. I mean, there's a lot of variables there. So, it's inconsistent love. Uh, you have to really take a look at that. Inconsiderate. Is that person or, or person, the, 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 the male or female, are they inconsistent? Inconsistent. What, is, what I mean by inconsistent? Up and down, like I just said, in love. And inconsistent in things. Are they just inconsistent? Are they going here, going there, or going here, or there? Are they, they married to you, male or female? Are they happy or not? Inconsistent. Or inconsiderate. Jealousy. Man, this is a big one. I see this all the time. I get asked this all the time. Jealousy. You know, this is something that uh, can turn south really quick. I, uh, I, I've, people have called me. People talk to me. My wife is driving me insane with this jealousy thing. She's literally driving me insane. I can't even speak outside of the house. I can. She's got me trapped in the house. This jealousy thing has got to stop. A lot of guys have left women because of this jealousy thing. Just jealousy thing. Filipina has this particular, not all, but most, some, have have that. Now I know some of you ladies are gonna get mad at me for saying that, but we know that you're jealous up to a certain extent. Men are just as jealous. Don't think the men are not as jealous. If the men had you beautiful ladies in USA, they'd be just as jealous. But sometimes, uh, I just recently, a guy had a guy call me. He lives in Dumaguete. He says, I am stuck. She, my wife is just driving me insane. I can't even leave the house and walk around the corner, walk around the street without her saying, oh, you're going to go find a girl. And he says, what are you talking about? Well, you're going to must be leaving. You're going to go find a girl. He said, I can't even walk down the street uh, to his wife. So there is that. You have to nip that in the bud. That has to be in the conversation in the beginning that you, she will not put it up from you and you know you will not put up with that from her. That that jealousy is just going to just, that jealousy can bury a relationship so fast. Many of the men have found themselves in bad situations because of the, the ladies either taking their wallets, taking things like that because it's just pure jealousy. Uh, I bet I had a hundred cases of that this last year. So guys, ladies, make sure you have that talk before. If she gets jealous because somebody's staring at you, well, you know what, that's her problem, it's not yours. And the same thing goes. If you got guys staring at your lady and you have a problem with it, well, you know what, you need to get over it yourself. It's immaturity on both parts, I'm telling you. It really is. It really is. If someone wants to try to steal my wife, and really if she's that interested in that, that that's going to happen no matter what I do or say anyway, right? So this jealousy thing is, a, is just something. I could make a five-hour video on jealousy. Um, this guy emailed me this morning. My wife is uh, driving me insane with it. What do I do? And the best thing to do is have to talk with her. It's, it, will they cure the problem? No. Uh, there's, there's no, there's no, there's no pill. There's no magic pill for jealousy. You just have to work through it. Is she into you? Does she really like the things that you do? Does she into you? Is she listen when you talk, or does she not listen? Is she on her phone and never hear a word you say? Is she into you, or is he into you? If she speaks, do you put down the phone or quit driving or whatever? No, quit driving. But, I mean, do you drop your things that you're doing? If you're cooking, do you turn around and listen to that other person? If you're cleaning a car, do you pay attention to that person? Driving. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> uh, is he or she affectionate? That's really a big one, too. Is he or she affectionate? A lot of times, some, some, 
Some people show affection, some don't. Some personalities just don't show affection. Is that person really into you and show affection? Um, now here's really important. This is really important. This is really a big key. This being my last one I'm saying. Is he or she, how do they treat their family? How do they treat their family members? That's something right there that's really a big factor. How do they treat their family members? Are they happy with their family members? Do you find that that person is happier around their family members than they are around you? Do you find that person talks more around your family members than they talk around you? And even though the family members speak English, or he, on the other hand, same thing with he. So it's just, just a female, it's male also. You find that he is happy around other guys than with you. Does he talk more around the guys? It's the same situation. Are they are they showing excitement? Are they, you know? So there's a big question. So these are the things that I have to say. When you date, please make sure that you these men or women, please make sure that you ask these questions. Don't date if they're impolite. Uh, don't date if they're the last one standing. Just make the right decisions. I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank everybody for always coming on our channel. And uh, thank you very much. And thank you so much.